I'm Oliver Frost, and this is probably my last radio broadcast. So the thing I would say is... Day Before is the most wishlisted title on Steam right now. Probably has been the most talked about title over the last few weeks, and not for good reasons. This game has been delayed after delay after delay, and what seems to be, yes, another delay. Probably heard about what's recently been going on, and yeah, people are upset. Actually, I wouldn't even say upset, just rather confused. Nobody has any faith in this company. I understand having delays, that's normal when developing a game. If delaying a game means more time to optimize and creating a more stable game before launch, then heck yeah, you, you have my support. But when you delay a game several times and you have barely shown anything you've done, and you delay it for 9 more months after you already delayed it for a year the last time, people are going to have their doubts. I do believe they have a game. But I don't think it's going to be as great as they say it will be, uh, just based on the company's history what they have created in the past. I won't dive into their history, only because I don't want to waste your time, but you can search FNTastic on Steam, and you can see the three or four games they have created. As you can tell, the scale of this game comes off as very ambitious compared to what they have developed before. I think everyone shares the same feelings and thoughts as me when I ask, why wait nine more months to show off raw gameplay footage? Regardless of what has been going on with the whole trademark fiasco, they still said that they had planned on delaying the game again. How did that stop you from still showing gameplay? Just call it a zombie survival shooty thing. I, I don't know. People know what it is when you post. Unless that's a legal issue itself, which I can definitely see happening. Whenever any information about this game comes out, I'm just not even shocked anymore. I've been playing The Division 2 lately, and although it is a AAA title, it still has its issues. That's Ubisoft for you. After playing for a few days and several crashes later, I have been thinking, can they do what other developers have not been able to do and create this good of a looking MMO survival game? I don't see a small company like Fantastic creating an open world title that's bigger and looks as good as it does without suffering the loss of performance. And I have a sneaking suspicion that what we have seen so far is not an MMO and the delays has nothing to do with performance. I think what we have been seeing is more of a level, a condensed closed off area to show off some of their game. Maybe that's why there's so many trees. Let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts in light of all the recent news? Are you excited for it? Are you not? Let me know in the comments below. Just want to put my thoughts out there. Uh, if they pull it off and it's the most amazing game ever, great. Uh, but from all the feedback I've been reading, it seems like the majority of people feel pretty iffy about this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. See ya.